there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our episode here on Pasty Your Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be looking at the Omega Prestige for Spider-Man. The um, Omega Prestige package that has actually been put onto the PlayStation Network and on the uh, Xbox as well, for people to actually upgrade their characters for the Omega level of benefits for characters. Now, um, I think some people have actually had complaints about, about these upgrades being done, but essentially is this is this is to bring the console versions in line with the pc games and to start with spider-man it was a good choice and the fact that they're actually everybody will be omegging the characters whenever they get released rather than actually buying this out right with g's because you can actually get the omega level of modification for your characters as part of uh, your science divisions level 20 uh, unlocks so I, i'm quickly trying to push my character up to my scientists or my re science researchers up to level 20 using uh, research bonus packs that you get for like 50, uh, 40 thousand credits plus some creative materials um requisition forms and stuff but in this one uh you can just buy the character right so i'm just going to throw 3000 g's into this and see what it's actually worth because right you remember this 3000 g's is 15 loot boxes and it's what 28 99 for the actual pack for this so you're spending the price of a full game for this upgrade for the character which is a bit fucked I have to be honest, like, that's a lot of money to upgrade a character. Like, essentially, I'm looking here for 3,000. Yeah. All right, so it sits there between the 30 and 15 pounds of Gs. Now, I think a lot of people might have actually got this a lot cheaper because they did do a G sale just before this. So they're kind of rewarding people who are following along with what's going on. But Gazillion are really bad at reporting this stuff out as it comes by. I mean, I didn't know about the um, some of the uh, unlocks. I didn't know about the Captain America Civil War boxes until I logged into the game and saw them in the store. So, how can you predict the existence of these things beforehand and try to get them for the cheapest possible? It just feels a bit uneven. It's, it is going to drive a lot of people away. That, that, that's just my little soapboxy moment about DLC content like this that actually upgrades and permanently changes the way a character plays. But what you do whenever you upgrade, you get two new traits, ultimate cooldown reduction, uh, was it double hero synergy benefits so er wow jesus christ well, all the characters that i've got synergized with them as well um omega prestige visual so you actually get the glow around your character uh damage prestige visual oh no, no that's okay new damage prestige uh nameplate oh no oh new omega prestige nameplate whoops uh a new legendary item and a new flourish so yeah on top of that, you get the Spider-Man Hero, if you don't already have him. Spider-Man Omega Prestige Unlock, uh, Iron Spider Enhanced Costume, and five times combination boost for buying this. So, essentially for the 3000 Gs that you're throwing in, you're buying it for all this excess stuff on top, which is fine. I mean, it's that you, you uh, boil, boil down the pack of this, but uh, you will receive an ultimate upgrade token if you already have Spider-Man and 50 Marvelous Essence. Here's your already own Iron Spider Enhanced Costume. We'll receive an additional 50 Marvelous Essence. Considering the uh, Iron Spider costume costs 140. Kind of shit. Also, I never bought the Iron Spider costume. I personally wasn't massively fussed on it. So this pack actually works out well for me in exchange for Marvel Essence, which I have fucking plenty of, as you can see. But in the end, of this pack is actually a bit, it's actually just ironically a good buy for me as it is. But um, yeah, let's grab it and take a look at the benefits on Spider-Man. Boom. Activate now. Yes. You're about to start the culmination of your journey with Spider-Gwen. Prepare to become an Omega Hero, Omega Prestige to rank 1 with Spider-Gwen. Re reset Spider-Gwen to level 1. Your power and talent unlocks will be reset, but you will retain ultimate power upgrades and infinity points. Your items are retained but will be unequipped if they are not usable at level 1. Caution, every 10 ranks of Omega Prestige takes 20% more experience than the last. Omega Prestige Spider-Gwen? So, 20% more for every 10 ranks? Yeah, well, I'm going to be doing it anyway because of the undeniable benefits of the character. But, wow. Hmm. 20% more per 10. Okay, she looks shiny happy anyway. Let's select Spider-Man and get her back on the road. Oh, that's a, uh, yeah, because there's Iron Spider there, the costume. You have a hero uh, unlock access in one of two ways. Achieve prestige rank 6 on the hero and complete the Omega Prestige crafting recipe at the Logistics Division Quartermaster. Reach level 60 on the hero and purchase the Omega Unlock from the store. Ooh! So you either have to do six laps of prestige 
on a character and then do it. So the only one they've actually put Omega Unlock on is Spider-Man. Like, you can buy the Unlock. But can the rest of your characters actually be prestiged up six times? Whoa, that's a walking Damn! Okay. Well, at least I'm glad I got all those character experience tokens over time. Um, yeah, I don't think I want... I want to put Spice, so maybe on with him like, with the Cosmic Fire, but I think Spider Gwen's going to be, always be my choice. Until they put a Mayday Parker costume in, I'm always going to have her. So, yeah, um, that's we've already got ourselves already boosted up for all the things we need to do. How I might actually just go in and uh, check the delivery here to see if there's anything else popped in. Yeah, you see, there was actually. Whoa, Prestige Gift? A random boost and in five Eternity Splinters. A random boost and five Eternity Splinters. A random boost and five Eternity Okay. <laughs> Jesus, there's a lot more in here than I thought that was going to be coming. So the Mar 50 Marvelous Essence. Uh, unlock 5 combination boosts. Omega Prestige Legendary Box. Use this item to receive your Omega Prestige Flourish and an exclusive item for your Omega Prestige Hero. So you and already have a Prestige Flourish. A Prestige Gift. Oh, so this is actually you get for each time you Prestige the character? Right. And then an uh, Ultimate Token for buy one. Jesus, okay. There's a lot more stuff in that pack than I actually expected. I didn't realize that. So you actually get, for each of the prestiges that you would have done anyway, uh, which is a random boost and eternity splitters, you actually got them on top. Okay. That guess, like, I'm glad I didn't prestige any of the characters. I mean, imagine for anybody who actually had already prestiged uh, Spider-Man five times before this point. That would actually be pretty goddamn awful. Um, yeah, retrieve all. Fill, up, fill your boots, essentially. That was actually really surprising. So what are we sitting at now? Um, we'll throw... Uh, Boom, boom. Why don't you throw a minor experience boost on top of that, and we'll actually get ourselves out there. See how quickly we can level up from 1 to 10. Because if I can't sprint, I can't do anything, and that pisses me the fuck off. So we'll get ourselves down here to... Oh, God. Oh! Can't sprint! And please, Ghost Rider, would you shut your goddamn motorcycle up? So many stupid people who just sit there going, Vroom, vroom, vroom! For hours on end. Um... Where is our... Where is my... Oh, there we go. We've got minor experience boost, so we tr retrieve uh, five of those. Five of those. And we'll take... Uh, two of those. Oh, no, I already have those in my, two of those in my pocket anyway, so we're super fine. Um, three. Hey, Spidey! And we'll actually stack them up to give us a little bit of extra time. And then we'll get ourselves ready and rocking and rolling as soon as possible. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two. And the rest of you go into the pocket inside the store now. Don't know why I'm singing like this. Maybe it's something weird I feel. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to move all you to storage. Because there's actually a legend, there's an Omega item in there, and I want to keep the Omega items for whenever I actually max out my character a little bit. Oh, that's right, I have to, have to remaster. I have to go back to Ultimate so I can actually use that damn thing. Um, I'm going to put that in storage, but it just piss me off otherwise. Um, yep, that should be us done and dusted. Uh, inventory. Do I have anything else in here? Oh, uh, these are all... Oh, uh, that's all my level 60 stuff that I can't use anymore. Bastard. Right, well, that sucks, but we'll get back to that point really, really quickly because we have the game to play. Let's see how quickly we can go from Respect 1 to 10 rank, with hero. full boosts on our character because this, like, extra 20% is going to be interesting. And now boarding we'll go. Going to Hell's Kitchen. So literally, um... Oh, wait, hang on. We need to make sure we're on the right level as well. Is this... Have I cosmic Spider-Man or have I just... Uh, superhero with them? <laughs> Oh no, are you serious? Literally. Oh. Fury said I should expect you. Alright, fine. Let's rock and roll. Storm is one of the most elegant women on the Oh, we don't even have our basic abilities either? Like I thought, oh! Oh god, this is actually frustrating! Oh, oh, die! This, this this is not delicious in any way, shape, or form. This is not pleasing. 
That, um, I mean, imagine that, that people have that same feeling whenever they're going through and doing the, yeah. their prestiges where they actually lose everything over and over and over again. Where it encourages you to actually maybe go and unlock some stuff that's really low level to use just for your characters for that short period of time until you level up. Alright, we're on we're on our first stop there. So freaking rad. Wait, I've unlocked the part, but it's not showing properly on the screen. We couldn't save the Gwen of this universe, and I couldn't save the Peter Parker right, of mine. So we're gonna put all of our powers on here. We watch over each other. No, we need to tumble. Put the tumble on there. What's that? Web shot? Wrap fire webs. Yep. And there we go. Now we can move! Basic mask, that's a good start. I see elites, I punch the elites. That's all I do. Oh god. Just go away. Off. Moving on. Confidence does. I'm moving into the next room. So we're already at level three. We're for the boosts. Essentially, seem to negate that extra twenty percent really quickly. We're not too concerned about it at all. Leave me alone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not too concerned about that extra twenty percent really. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, the extra twenty percent feels like it would actually. I, it, it, mentally, it makes me think like every ten ranks. So by the time we get to sixty, it's going to be a problem. But right now, to get us to actually be walking and moving and doing our main attacks, it's not a problem in any way, shape, or form. It's, it's almost like negated. Um, yeah, we're not going to take. I'm not going to worry about any more. Well, actually, no. I don't like that single shot. Single shot may be more powerful, but it's. Not going to be helping me too much. Oh, might take that. Here we go. Is that an after image kind of thing for Spider-Man? That's right. I haven't even put all my goddamn synergies either. Is that actually? Uh, uh, is that re reset them? No. I haven't reset my synergies either. Okay, that's the reason why I'm kicking absolute ass. Maximum Spider. Excuse me, hunky boy. We need to get ourselves to level 10 so I can enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Alright, let's take on our first boss at least. Electro is always a good start. Oh, don't even try. Let's get ourselves a quick one with the things we actually picked up so far. Oh! Right, I have to actually look for things that actually say two because I've already got the items in there that's like for level 60. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting! Uh, uh, that was the best one I could find. Yeah, so far. Nothing in here will work otherwise. Die! <laughs> and just see what happens. Ah! Look at that. Get here. Boom! Down you go. <laughs> if you get close enough, it actually hits him like three times without attack rather than actually just one, so it was worth it. The item drops aren't too bad there, but um, yeah. Oh, that's right. We're up to level 7 already, which is good. Uh, what, we're... 
Normally I would hit I would hit before I hit spend him, I would hit pain. That's what the usual is. Let's see if the actual drop changes if I can any better. This We're already on it. That's kind of impressive so far. Boop, 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 boop. Got our first medallion that's actually gonna fit her. Oh! I think the green goblin went over that. And nothing benefit of beneficial. One thing beneficial. Nothing yet. And all the items are back. Right, we're not too bad so far. Let's keep rocking and or rolling. Two more levels, get ourselves a 10. And we'll call it at that point. Whoa. Uh, didn't mean to pick up right there. Level nine. See so by the time you're at Venom, with the boost, with the combination boost you would have received from buying the character, you can get the 10 pretty damn quick. In fact, if I can get myself to the Savage Land and fight those um, dinosaurs spawnings, it's a pretty good EXP dump for anybody who's actually going through this part of the game. Uh, going through the story elements of the game to actually unlock every single time. At that point, I pretty much I would just stop and just level myself. Especially if I'm on a super heroic level at that point. Moving on swiftly. Like, you don't really have to kill. <laughs> the worst thing is, I feel like the worst superhero in the world is that I don't do all the fights at this point. I'm just kind of like min maxed with it and my timing for it. There you go. Well, that's continuing on. Everybody's dying. Come on, just turn on the goddamn thingy off the bobby. There we go. Oh, level 10 just I'm before hitting the boss. Up. Fair play. So it actually was faster than expected, even. Uh, web sling kick. Web spray. Uh, so web spray. That'll actually lock people in place, isn't it? Or is that... Am I better off with the direct damage? Oh, wait, no. Stick around is mobilize slows down yeah i think uh anybody that actually uses it. if i'm using that i will be actually for the fact of doing more damage rather than actually being slow down the other one it mobilizes them but it doesn't like that Ready Ready plus damage is always useful against anybody like boom oh, it's an hr gear pace and comes alive And down you go. <laughs> Maybe if I drop some unnecessary junk? Ah, fine, then I will drop some of your junk if you keep calling it. Uh, Venom's actually a good choice for a boss because he's always, he's always going to have an item that's actually going to be fairly big. What? Something's going hard wrong there. Yeah, I was wondering why half of them had disappeared. Uh, Venom's a good choice because of the hand to hand and webbing powers. So, hello, Doc Ock does have a better attack defense bonus, so let's actually take that anyway. So I'm leveling up and unlocking the ability to use some of these things that I'm always carrying around me anyway. And uh, nope, none for you, none for you, none for you, none for you, Higgins, you had yours. No? Nothing? Are there any artifacts even at this level? Any of that low? Because most of them actually only start after the Doc Ock fight, so I'm usually about 14, 15 at that point. Um, no. There. Oh well. Boom, level 12. So yeah, oh. I've got him before. Oh, fuck, I'm still full. I didn't even mess up the credit case from completing someone there. <laughs> Alright, let's kill it. Don't need it. Oh, this is the only problem. They, they made a change on the inventory so you didn't accidentally get rid of stuff too quickly. But it, ha it does slow down whenever you actually are kind of like running through things as fast as possible. Or by rarity, so I can actually read up. Ding, ding, ding. Yup, there we go. 
So, yeah, um, now we're going to see it slow down because of being over level 10. Like, every 10 ranks in it is a 20% increase. So maybe this is actually going to see a big change in how quickly I've been leveled so far. Nah, I don't care about commons. Is it, oh wait, hang on, are those web shooters? That's the one thing I haven't actually upgraded. There we go. I, take the, I don't like taking common gear. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not one of those people who does common gear anymore. My base level damage is just as good. Oh, alert started. Good for me. Alert started, alert finished. Oh well. Better boots. Fill your boots. Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the spider Gwen. When, when. Is she strong? Listen up. She's got radioactive blood. She leads a punkish band in her reality, but that's all over because now she's stuck in 616. Yeah, now she's just got a. She's feeling she's in the sticks. Yeah, there goes the spider Gwen. So, I want to see if there is a slowing of level game here. I'm only going to stop for elites. That's the only thing I'm going to stop for because elites and bosses are the only thing that's going to be worthwhile getting. Jesus, there's actually a pretty decent drop coming from all. That's probably, I suppose, because I'm actually using the combination boost drop. Because I'm using the combination boost, it's going to be dropping a lot more shit. But like I said, the combination boost come with the character, so it's not like if you bought this character, you bought the upgrade uh, Omega style from the Storm of the G's, you'd actually be doing it at the speed without it. So it doesn't feel like I'm actually kind of cheating in any way. Oh, admittedly, like anything that you actually pay for in this, pay to win, pay to... Well, pay to shorten is probably the best way to describe it. But never pay to win, it's pay to shorten the experience. Yeah. Time to shake this place down. Down you go, all Shocker's over, Betty gone. That's what happens to you, Shocker. You don't ever get the chance to win. You're not allowed to. Yeah, I'll it. Still, still, still common. Still common. At least I'll upgrade. Bye bye, bye bye. You probably were worth nothing to trade in. Oh, and more upgrades. Boots! Fill your boots. Hey. So, we're level 16. But I thought that was actually meant to be really slowing down what was going on. Ah, oh, shit. Ah! There's no button on these Go down. Omega level one. So essentially, is the, is my end game now? Content is going to be me just prestiging my spider woman or my spider win, or literally I just keep lapping this over and over again. Is it, is it every ten ranks in Omega? Because it feels like I thought it was like ten levels in the character. Actually, it must be Captain just Stacey ten ranks in Omega. So you just you can overpower the top part of this character. Ooh. Jesus, my melee really does. My, really, my melee does better than my web shot. Tell him I had I fought hard. <laughs> That's brilliant. I was hitting him fast enough or too hard and too fast enough for the, the actual like uh, health bar counter to keep up. <laughs> that's, a, that's not a bad sign in the game, but that's like just an impressive sign for the character. It's like, oh, you're hitting him harder than he hasn't even felt it yet. It's like you get the Ken Shiro from that's the North Star kind of level. It's like, you're all dead. 
10 seconds, you're going to actually shift your face right through your ass. What the hell do you mean by that? Oh my god, my face is coming out of my ass! Get a load of all this! all the experience tokens. Please, no more! You go. Thank you. Have a beautiful time. No. Uh, Doc Ock. How shall we end the? Let me go. Your meddling ends now. Who are you shooting? Camouflage yourself? Uh, open pipe jars? What the hell kind of octopus are you? <gasps> Not in a million years, Buster. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right! Oh, darn you, Seriously? Did that really happen? I'm a hero, not a hoarder. No, no, you're a hoarder. I'm going to make you a hoarder, honey. Oh, why do we have that many gloves? Nobody needs that many gloves. Right. We're going to 25. Because I don't want to lose Spider-Man's um, synergies. That's the problem I just realized. That everybody else who uses Spider-Man synergies have now lost their synergy with Spider-Man. So I need to actually redeem that up to at least 25 for the dodge. So we've got some work to do. Venom better? Venom would be better? Yes, it would be better. Oh wait, there's something better than Venom. Shocker? How the hell? What? Uh. Oh, that's for the deflector. Ah, oh, fuck that. I'm taking the move speed. I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Leveling up. Oh, we're on to 29, baby. So we got five more levels to go. I said I was going to go to 10, but essentially the fact that the speed that we're going through this, I'm going to go to 25 just so whenever I come back in, I'm, going to, I'm not losing so just one of my synergies that is like attached to every goddamn character. Hey, how's it going, Spidey? Big part of why you're Omega. How's it, you're Omega too? Something seems to be playing Omega level 8? Jesus Christ, how many times have you played through the goddamn game? Fucking lunatic. I think I'll leave this conversation on deep background. You might want to do that, people boy. Agent of Shield. I have the course laid in. So five more levels on the Jersey docks. That's what we got ahead of us. Yeah, this is gonna keep you hard to actually get uh, five levels on either. Moving on the time in the world. Do -do 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 -do. I, what I should do is actually be on Super Heroic tonight, so I should probably do the trial. But I want to just get to 25. Mmm, what's the trade off? It'll take me longer to get through this. Die! Because all the synergy levels are boosted. So I'm actually doing plus 9% damage every. Or rather, hit him lots of times in a small way. No more. Die everything! Hulk here's little horn hair man has a problem with a fat guy. One hope to pound his face. Take a long thing, make sure not to list any of the EXP. None of the EXP must get away. Uh, we're not one anymore. I'm, I'm done with the comments. Oh yeah, Rhino. Well, that should be a good boost too. Get him out of the way. Plus, I actually do like Rhino's movement skill. It's always been useful for me. Oh my God! Shocker thugs. I feel so ambushed. Ah! 
Why is there an electric headshot here? <laughs> Oh, come here, you one last guy. Oh, God, just give me to the cops already. Punches do the thing. Always effective. Here I come. Oh, do I really have to fight an endangered species? Rush you good. Not in a million years, Buster. Pockets too full again. Why am I so full with? Am I just filled with like crafting materials? Is that what it is? Oh, shield supply box. Might as well see what's inside this. The first one I've opened in a long while, and that looks pretty damn good. Huh? Huh? Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay, so that was a lot of cosmic gear. Uh, radioactive isotope, uh, cosmic invulnerability, exhilarating boots, brawler glows, brawler br brutality. That was, yeah, I'm, I'm getting my character out with that first goddamn box I just received that has absolutely everything I may ever goddamn need for the next few levels. Jesus. What? Oh, is it a level that I can't use? Oh, because my pockets are full. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, son of a bitch. Pockets full of shit. And I actually have to slow me down from doing this. Uh, you know what? Everything that I actually is wearable now is getting thrown in the trash. Goodbye. 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 Why is there two of those? No, fifty No, goodbye. Kapla, 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 kapla. Let's see. How much of that can I take? Eighty-four. Uh, no, we're just short two. Ah, the two things I didn't need. Ha ha! That's perfect. We'll leave those for some other time. I'll leave those for the next time I log in and go like, "What the hell was I?" Oh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, get rid of you. Done with you. Done with you. Done with you. There's an upgrade in half. There is also an upgrade in half. There is also another upgrade. Literally the entire costume for the character is just completely replaced with cool shit. Oh, wait, what? Ah, eh, screw it. I might as well take some defense on my character. Very small drop. Relics. Uh, plenty of those are stacked up there. Where's there 99? Oh, there's 100 of that. I'll take the 100 there. No, actually, screw it. I might as well give Spider-Man an actual relic. Complete. Yeah. Relic of Atlantis. Uh, massive deflagrating. Plus with all that. Um... 1,000 health, 500 points, melee parts, plus one all You know what? I'm just going to take his dodge to insane levels for that. Even have a catalyst as well. Beautiful. Uh, signature power gain 1,000 damage written. Use the signature power gain 1,000 damage written. When you use your med kit, gain additional health. And you, while, while moving, gain 500 dodge breathing for 10 seconds. When you hit with a power, gain 5 spirits. Gain 5% of your health. And 1,100 1, when you use your med kit. Uh, nine, oh, the EXP again? Pfft. That's like insanity. I'm not even going to consider anything else there now. Uh, artifact. I really should actually have a legendary on my Fireman at this point, really. Go down to rarities and we take the most powerful things we've got there. Um, stuff. Packs. So we're going to take uh, increase the. On hit to become stealth. Yes! 
I can disappear out of your goddamn eyes. And, um, with that, fence as well. You don't really need it, to be honest. But, um, I might use that to just go and do the trial. Near my pistol for a wee while. Uh, the pistol. Hmm. 31% chance to attack. It is good, but it's actually designed for magic users more than anything else. Ringed Ruby of Ragdoor. Hmm. I'm gonna take the tire. The shield. Just taking the shield bomb. I even question the guy going because I've got plenty of matrix of unbinding to unbind this damn thing afterwards anyway, so I don't really care. Um, powers as well. We've got so many powers that we haven't been applying. What I've got, got Prime Fighter, Web Zipline, Spider Slam, and Fury and Humor. It's dead of webs. Throw down. Turn it forward. Boom. Making me wait. What a laugh riot. Yeah, Web Barrage is going to replace that. Um, keeping our tumble in the ground. Uh, back there before we get back to that kick. Boom! Yeah, I have my cards. Three. Three. One close. Two close. Yeah, it's the same. Any movement dash. Movement dash. Might use that step that for a little while. And then that leaves me two spots built up. Oh, drop. Web rock through. Curating banter. Boom. That actually means I can slow him down, actually attack him, and I've got plenty of damage. That works for me. Unnecessarily detailed awesomeness. Boom. That's rock and roll. Back we go. Oh shit, we're sitting for. I don't think I'm gonna need any of that shit. It's all going into donations now at this point. But we should get to level 25 pretty quickly. I think we're probably gonna get 23. Yep, I figured that was gonna be the case. I can't get any more uh, awesome. I don't wanna pick up stuff and fill my pockets. I mean, if I see someone that's actually blue, like the light blue, isn't the light blue super heroic? Go with that, but anything below that will not bother. Swingy, swingy, good. Swingy, swingy, good. We're going to be level 25 by the time we beat the hood. Okay. This, this just feels... I want to fight all those guys. I want to fight all... Oh, that's more like it. Give me something. Fight. Ah, oh, Viper Rise is a single shot one, isn't it? Rather than actually being the spread shot that I had previously. Good grief, you're dead. Very, very dead. Give me the. Ah, there we go. I like the fact that there's actually just a bunch of splinters inside those guys as well. What was that? Deceptive mask? Mask outside of like masks and I'm like, Jesus Christ, is like just a, somebody shot on the floor? Yeah, I think I need to get the webs spread again. Yeah, I need to take the web spread because I'm um, gonna be fighting a lot more uh, troops of enemies. Or the web ball is very effective when I be actually. Ah, see, I have to. That's dead. Ah, fine. Hey, down. The rest of you guys stay at work. Don't get involved. Good guys. That's a good aim soldier. You know exactly what to do. Don't get involved with the superhero. If I break into your lab, let me break whatever I want, and I'll just goddamn leave. You get to leave with your life. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't actually repel my spider man. Oh, spider man.
And down you go, soldier. Criminal mastermind, my butt. One more level, guys. One more level, and we'll actually stop Omega. But yeah, I'm actually I'm enjoying playing the Spider-Man because I actually find a problem with Spider-Man whenever I first started playing him that he felt a little too squishy. And that is definitely, definitely not the goddamn case now. Spider-Man is not squishy. We no longer refer to Spider-Man as the squishy. We don't actually ever refer to him like that ever again. Oh God damn it! There you go. Problem solved. All out of the way. Oh, there's a big pain point. I didn't want to lose. Come on, let's get ourselves all the way up there. Die! Yes, done. Right, great. Loot box should be enough. This should take us over the 25. Yes! Glorious! No! Oh, you ass butts. Ah, fine. We're almost there. I always expect those rooms to actually have enough to kind of level you at this point in the game. But um, I suppose I'm not going to expect you to be level 25, I suppose, at this point either. <laughs> two levels for doing that one thing that was well worth it so yeah that's us sorted guys up to level 25 boom i've got myself covered for uh synergies at least for the dodge mechanics that are used on all their characters so yeah marvel heroes omega um has dropped its omega character um the basic premise is that you're gonna actually have to re-level everything again and again and again and again and again, and again. That's what we do in these kind of games. They're loot drop games. It's a dungeon crawler and it's got interesting characters from many, many of our favorite franchise, or not favorite franchises, all from our favorite franchise, but in their many, many iterated forms. Like you can see me swinging around quite a while. So guys, if you actually enjoyed watching me play through this, I am of course playing Marvel Heroes Omega on a regular basis on the live stream. So you can always come and check me out there. Um, you can also always check out more videos here on the channel because there are always plenty of games that I'm playing here on a daily basis to keep you entertained and, and informed about new stuff that's actually available and actually you might not have heard of on the main gaming website so yeah if you actually enjoyed watching this make sure to hit the subscribe button or the follow button or whatever it actually is required and if you don't want to do those you don't have to do those but i highly recommend you do it because you actually get to have your name up here in the corner did you know about that stream boss if you actually ever get uh, part of my stream you ever watching me record in life if you hit follow subscribe or donate your name goes up in that corner while you beat up the guy that's in the corner, replace him, and then you become the new stream boss. You can be my boss for the day, or for as long as it actually takes until somebody else replaces you. Then make sure to actually hit that follow and subscribe, and you can take part. And uh, of course, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up there I would really like you to press. There'll be a button here for the most recent playlist, and over there will be actually the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube, and all the things that you actually watch. It'll pick something that you will like, and that's it right there. And I personally think it's a good video, so you should check it out. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.